Let's bring in Needham's uh, John Sodaro, talk more about it. He's got a buy rating and a $70 target on coin. Uh, John, I'm sure uh, this has been part of your risk profile for a while. Um, it did seem like maybe you were arguing the regulatory landscape was getting easier, not harder. Is this a surprise? Uh, I wouldn't characterize it necessarily as a surprise. Coinbase did get that Wells notice earlier in the year. Uh, Kraken, which is also a cryptocurrency exchange, they shut down their staking program earlier this year. So it was on the horizon. I would say um, things started to look a little bit positively with that draft bill that was in Congress that looked like there would be some easier uh, regulation around crypto. Um, and then this comes out today, which, which certainly shows that the regulatory clampdown is still on Coinbase. Um, and really, it impacts almost every business line. So yeah. as you guys pointed out, the exchange business, the staking business, there's also a stablecoin business that this suit hasn't really gotten into, but there's some hair around stablecoins as well. So are you envisioning um, a conflict or uh, an attempt to comply? I think you could see uh, compliance on staking. Staking is less than 3% of net revenue at Coinbase. It's not a big area for them from a revenue standpoint, at least today. Um, so you could see compliance in certain areas. But on the exchange side, Coinbase has said in the past they very much plan to fight this um, in the courts. Um, and it is that that is a big part of their business. Um, so, you know, it, they might in their best interest, they might say, hey, look, it, it makes sense to fight this. Um, I would caveat we, we looked at May volume uh, recently and 64 percent of the volume was on Coinbase was Bitcoin and Ether. The two assets that so far have been less under regulatory scrutiny. So um, it's still about 36 percent of the business is these other assets that seem to be uh, being challenged. So. It's, it's not kind of entirely the exchange business, but it's call it 40% or so. So you, you have been telling people to buy this stock with a $70 price target. You change your mind on this news? Um, so we're, we're looking into it a bit further to see exactly which business lines are going to be impacted by this. Um, you do have some positives on the longer term. You have the Bitcoin halving coming up in Q124. Um, that's historically associated with with, um, with positive price momentum. But in the near term, this, this is obviously uh, very challenging news for Coinbase. Regulation had been one of the biggest concerns for investors, um, and it's beginning kind of at the, at the front of everyone's head right now. Yeah, I mean, that's why it shouldn't come as such a shock. Stock's down 15 percent, though. Uh, between this and Binance, you do wonder what it does for confidence for retail traders and, and volumes that have already been way down since the Fed started raising rates. That's why I think the stock is getting extra hit is um, with the Wells notice. I think a lot of investors saw some of this coming. But when you already had a May, May volume for Coinbase was down 23 percent month over month, you already had a tough volume picture. And then with this hit, it, you could see even further retail erosion. Um, so it's almost a, a, a double factors kind of playing into the stock being down this much.